Question five. A company has 1,825 employees. The employees are classified as professional, skilled, or elementary. The following table shows the number of employees in each classification, the two areas, A or B, where the employees live. An employee is chosen at random. Find the probability that this employee is skilled. So I'm looking at this row here. So the probability that a random employee is skilled is the sum of these two values divided by the total number of employees, which is 1,825. So it's the number skilled divided by the total. So it's 275 plus 90 over 1,825, which actually simplifies quite nicely to one fifth. Part B, what is the probability this employee lives in area B, but is not professional? So the probability living in B and also not being professional, so it doesn't include the professionals, 90 plus 80 over the total of 1,875, which is 34 over 365. Part C, some classifications of employees are more likely to work from home. 65% of professionals in both areas A and B work from home, 40% of skilled and 5% of elementary. F is that the employee is professional. Event H is that the employee works from home and R is that the employee works from area A. But using this information, complete the Venn diagram. So first let's start with the center. Now, because we've got an employee from area A, an employee that works from home and an employee that is professional, how many people are all three of these things? Well, the professionals in area A is 740. What I don't know from this table is what percentage work from home, but I am told that 65% work from home. So 0 0.65 times 740 will give me the professionals in area A who work from home, which will give me my center number here, 481. Now let's look at this intersection here is the intersection of R and F. So this is every professional that works from area A. Now we know that that's 740. So these two numbers should add up to 740. So this value will be 740 subtract 481, which is 259. Now we're looking here. So this is all of the employees working from home. So it would help if I had the total of employees working from home. So the total of professionals working from home would be 0.65 multiplied by the total number of professionals. So 740 at 380 is 1,120, and I'm timesing it by 0.65 to get the total number of professionals from home. I do the same for skilled. So the total of skilled is 365 and 40% of those work from home. And then with elementary, the total is 340, 5% of those work from home. And so adding these numbers up, the total number of those working from home should be equal to 891. So to find this value here, if I do 891, subtract these three values, I get an answer of 40. So the last part two number is the square. All of these numbers should add up to 1,825. So 1,825 subtract all the numbers in these circles leaves me with 130 employees. Part D, I want to find the probability that someone is not from area A and is also a professional. So I'm looking for the number of employees that are not from area A, but are professional. Well, I already know that from this table to be 380. If I'm using my Venn diagram, the number that are not from R, but are professional, are this 247 plus 133, which is 380 over 1,825. So two different ways of getting that answer there. Part E, I'm looking for the probability that it is not in the union of H R. So first, let's break this down and just look at the union of H and R. How many employees either work from home or 
R from area A. So H or R are all of these numbers here. So 40 plus 247 plus 481 plus 123 plus 412 plus 259, 1,562 employees. So those that aren't within that union are these values here. 1,825 subtract 1,562. So 263 employees are not in that union. So the probability that you are within those who are not in the union of HVAR is 263 over 1,825. Find the probability of F given H. So with the given formula, the probability of F given H is equal to the probability of F and H divided by the probability of H. So we can find the probability of F and H. That will be this 247 at 481, so 728 divided by the total number of employees, so 1,825. And the probability of H is all the numbers in H here, so 40 plus 123 plus 481 plus 247, which is 891 over 1,825. Given that I have these two probabilities now, the probability of F given H is 728 over 891. While our given that formula can be used in this question, since we have the Venn diagram, a simpler way to look at F given H is we have H already. I can see it's the population of this circle here, which we know to be 891. And if you are an employee that is professional and you are within H already, you are these two sections here. So we can go straight for 728 over 891 just from our Venn diagram, which is a lovely trick if we have the Venn diagram given to us.